All right. Simulation continues. I can see Ben moving again. Hey, Ben. However, what just happened? Well, as you can see on my screen, I no longer have one server connected. I have three servers connected to this replication here. So what you guys see here, this is the very first version of a working server mesh. All right. So now I'm going to explain a little bit how this magic works, because it is truly magic. Each server, when it came up, and the replication there realized there are three servers, we assigned different zones to those servers. And we said, OK, server one, you are the authority over the purple area. Server two, you are the authority over the green area. And the last server is authoritative over the red area. Um, you can still see that those servers have all those entities replicated, but only the, the entities within their zone are actually authoritative on that server. So while I'm in this green zone at the moment, my entity is simulated on that green server and just replicated on the other server. Um, and now, as I transition between those zones, you will see that on that green server, I just lost authority. And on that purple server, I just gained authority. Um, and because it my entity was, my player was replicated on both servers, this completely uh, works seamless. Um, and again, let's do that a couple of times. You see on my client here, I don't notice anything of that. This, is, this all happens behind the scene. And this uh, doesn't work only on me. Let's turn on the, uh, the zone colors and the object, the uh, authority assignment on the client as well. Um, you can see that even entities, as they transition into the other zone, seamlessly transition to that zone. And not only that, I can also interact with entities that are on the other side. So if I go on the screen zone, for example, and I shoot this, I can still shoot that purple uh, entity. And I can also just go ahead and destroy that buggy which sits on that other zone. There you go. Always fun to blow stuff up, right? All right. Um, so there's more to this. Um, the first thing I will do, let's spawn a fresh buggy. I just destroyed my old one. Um, when I go into this buggy, I will become part of the aggregate. And that means that now my buggy and myself will transition authority together. And this is how we make sure that my player, while he's driving this buggy, is always authoritative on the same server. So you can see, as I drive around with this buggy between the zones, I will switch between the different servers. It has been a long time to come to this point, and I, can't, I just can't put in words how much tech and work we had to put into this. Big shout-outs to the network team, big shout-outs to the online services team, big shout-outs to Chris to let us doing this. It's been a really long journey to get to this point. Uh, and I've got to say, the team has done an amazing job. They've been working diligently for the last four, five years. We've had a couple of false starts. We finally have an incredible, I mean, the way the replication layer works and how we can spin up servers and down and keep the state constant, even if a server goes down, is, I think, a genius design. And the first time I saw this, <laughs> about three weeks ago, working fully, I cried. <laughs> it's like giving birth. We did it. Uh, <laughs> and we wouldn't have been able to do this and work on this kind of tech without all your support.